Hi. Well, the Silver Lines founder is Esther Ransom, and she joins us uh, from our London studio. Morning, Esther. Uh, Morning, Bill. You, everybody knows you started Childline. What made you want to start Silver Line? Well, I, uh, about uh, two years ago, I moved into a little two-bedroom flat and found myself living alone for the first time at the age of 71. And I didn't like it, going home into a completely dark place with no voices to welcome me, no one to make a cup of tea for, no one to sit down on a sofa and watch you, you know? Um, so I wrote about it um, in a newspaper and I got a huge response. And a close friend of mine said to me, and it really stuck in my mind, how could you write like that, Esther? Haven't you got too much pride? And a lot of the letters said, how brave of you to be so honest. And I became aware that there's actually a stigma about admitting you feel lonely, particularly for an older generation that has a lot of pride and doesn't want to ask for help. So we opened the helpline, which is, uh, may I give you the number? Yes. 0800, 0800, so it's free. 0800 4 70 80 90. I can sing it you if you'd rather. No, no, that's all right. We've got it on the screen, Esther, so you needn't worry about singing. It's fine. <laughs> You're such a coward, Bill, and to think you dance so brilliantly, but you won't even hear me singing. OK, I won't sing it you. But we have had, as you've said, thousands of calls in just d during the early days of the pilot. And what we do is we say, ring us for any reason, ring us any time of day or night, because loneliness can strike any time. If you want a fact, if you want to be linked through to an organisation in your community, we will try and do that for you. But if you would like a regular call from a Silverline friend who is a volunteer, and we need more volunteers because we've got about 80 at the moment, we're going to need more, go to our website, you'll see how to apply. And those weekly phone calls, you know, one gentleman said, when I put the telephone down, I feel like I belong to the human race. And a lady said, I don't feel anymore as if I've been shuffled under the carpet. And that makes one wonder how we're treating older people, how we're not making them feel that they're part of the human race and valuable, which of course they are. It's extraordinary to discover that sort of loneliness is, is, it can be as harmful for you as smoking can be, in the sense it has a physical effect on people. It certainly does. You don't eat properly, you don't take exercise. Um, you don't look after yourself and there is this eroding of self-confidence which means it gets harder and harder to get through the front door and I'm speaking from personal experience I know people think it's ridiculous here I am you know with a, with a busy life you might say but one definition of loneliness is to have plenty of people to do something with and nobody to do nothing with I think loneliness is about loss. You heard Joseph talking about his beloved wife that he, he lost. It can be a wife, a partner, it can be sight or hearing, it can be the loss of a driving license, it can be the loss of mobility, and someone who's been used to be the centre of a family life or someone who is relied upon at work finds themselves, they feel, well, one lady wrote to me and said, I feel my life is pointless and I'm a waste of space. That's very sad. There is that barrier, though, that hurdle that people have got to overcome in the first place to pick up the phone themselves and yes. ask for help. How, what would you say to somebody who's sort of on the, on the cusp but doesn't quite want to do it? Take your time. Find a moment when you really feel like sitting down with a cup of tea. Pick up the phone. It's free. It doesn't matter how long you talk. It's confidential. We're not going to pass on anything you say. It's there 24 hours a day. And if you don't get through on day one, which is today, do please remember we're going to be there for the next years. Childline is 27 years old. We've helped 3.2 million children. We are going to be with you, with the Silver Line, for the long haul. Right. Esther, never let it be said that I won't face up to a challenge. You want to sing a number? Go ahead and sing it. Be my guest. 0804. 70, 80, 90. Oh, 800, 4. 70, 80, 90. Oh. Well, that's just wonderful. <laughs> well done. We won't forget that in a hurry, I can tell you. Esther, See thanks you. very much. That's the the thing is, there. now she sang it, I remember it, you remember it. 0, 800, 4. 70, 80, 90. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> well done. I hope we can do that. At 20 past 8, coming up on the programme today.